Hey guys, Axe Medic Insert here, and I'm back with another video. So, <coughs> this could be the ninth video in the car tutorial series. And uh, today we're just going to be covering a few quick uh, extra things that I've wanted to get to for a little while. Uh, one of which is a viewer request, which would be nitrous or, you know, basically speed boosting. And then uh, the other one being a frame counter, so basically FPS counter uh, through the you know, uh, GUI, right, and so we're going to be using Text Mesh Pro for that, just like we did with the, uh, you know, speedometer, and then we'll also get to visual speedometers in a future tutorial, uh, so I'm trying to keep up with your requests, guys, um, and as always, if you have any requests, again, I do try to get to them, so leave them down in the comments below, and, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get into this right now, so, uh, just as a side note, by the way, um, a lot of people have been uh, very supportive of the series. I do want to let you guys know I'm not trying to really delay this, but uh, I broke my arm, my shoulder to be exact, uh, recently, and as a result I've had to, um, you know, sort of slow my uploads because I can't actually, um, you know, use my mouse, um, and as a result, you know, I have to type with one hand and whatnot and can't really, you know, create time efficient content. So I've been trying to delay that. But right now, I feel as if I've recovered enough that I can try to get at least one video out for the time being. Uh, it's going to be a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoy this. So we can get into the content. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our viewer manager scripts. Now, in the past, uh, we've used this text value up here to change the uh, speed, right? Since we've been using that for the speedometer, we've been using it to log our current. Um, you know, forward speed. In this video, we're actually going to be using it for our um, frame rate. And so, uh, you know, if you want to keep the speed uh, as it is, you can just add another value down here, just another text press or text mesh pro UGUI um, variable type, and uh, you can name it whatever you want, and then you'll reference that side of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just add an update function. And uh, now actually what we're going to do is just start adding some functionality. Actually, this should be a capital U. And uh, now what we can do, again, is just uh, log our frame. So what we can say is text.text, .text, as we did before equals and then we need our uh, one divided by time that delta time and I'll get to this in a second so basically um, we have an error here let me just uh, declare this so cannot implicitly convert convert float to string so basically that's just uh, it would be a matter of putting parentheses around this and then putting that to string so um, I'll, oh, let's get required, so parentheses after it. Okay, there you go. So initially that was in a float. Obviously this is a text object and we uh, need to convert to a string. So that's what we just did there. Um, so basically what this does is time.delta time is the time per frame. And if I click on that, you can see that the time in seconds it took to complete the last frame. So one F right so one over time at delta time is the reciprocal or the number of seconds per frame um, as the denominator and one as the numerator so basically it's our frames per second instead of seconds per frame so I hope that makes some sense mathematically speaking it should um, and yeah so we're not going to justify too much we're just going to Hop into the game and take a look. See how this is uh, working. Nice. But what I would like to do here, actually, just to help you guys out, is uh, demonstrate that we can actually just round this if we want to get some nice clean values like all games tend to have ff.round um, and now we're gonna get you know a nice clean looking FPS uh, and we'll add something in there. <laughs> 60 and I 
why we're bouncing up from that. Uh, you know, I'll go down a little bit on uh, that edge. Um, but yeah, what we can do here, by the way, is then take this and just uh, append a little piece that says um, FPS, right? Or all caps, FPS, right? And uh, now if we sort of take a look at this, we can see, it should say... <laughs> That is our frame counter. Um, and then I think the next thing I want to get to, as I said earlier, is the shifting. So basically, or not shifting, sorry, um, boosting. So, you know, nitrous. Uh, so what we can do here is I've looked into the physics of nitrous, right? And basically, what we do is we increase the rate at which um, fuel can combust within the engine, right? So basically we're increasing the efficiency of the engine temporarily. And so our goal here is going to be to say if <coughs> um, input dot get key oops, dot get D, and we're not going to add like a time or anything for this, even though we could. We may do that in the future for this tutorial, we're just going to do the basics keycode.shift, left shift is what I'll do for this one. All right, so keycode.shift. Um, we're gonna say, well, what was our variable for this? Um, strength coefficient, right? So what we can add in here is, how do I wanna do this, right? That's the question. Um, well, currently, we're using the strength coefficient here, only here, actually. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add another float, right? So it's going to be the float S, and we'll say here, right, strength, or S equals strength coefficient times 1.2 and that should be float there we go this is the uh, strength coefficient is already a float and then here we can say s equals strength coefficient and that's going to be that now all we need to do is come in here to where we reference the strength coefficient not there but um there and change that to s and that should be fine but i do want to move this bit of uh, input management up to the uh, top here actually we don't even need that um because that should be inside the loop in the first place. We only need to check the key code once per uh, physics update. So that's going to be that. Uh, that's all saved. And actually, just to demonstrate that this is working, what we'll do is we'll say two, right? And we'll check this out. So. <laughs> This is actually working or not? Is uh, we can use it here and make our value for strength coefficient quite low. So let's make this, you know, mm, ten thousand. And then well, now, uh, what we're gonna try out is we're gonna make this one ten times the current strength coefficient. 
and if we run it, we should now see. I actually uh, need another copy of the script just to modify it. So I wouldn't modify this tutorial stuff. So actually, what we'll do is just, here we go. Just uh, grab this bit of code here, right? And paste that into our our controller script in the uh, fix update section. We're not going to go over the rest of the code that I've added because that is not currently relevant to what we're discussing here. Uh, but in the future, I will go over all the stuff that I've done. So here we have s. Obviously, s is not showing up as a variable right now. So what we're going to try here is just add this float s. And uh, then again, down here, we will change this to s. And make it that we should see a really dramatic difference between the two so right now Exhaust burn when you activate boost, you know, other stuff, just a bunch of nifty little things that you wouldn't really find otherwise, uh, you know, and elsewhere. Um, just because the series is really supposed to help with, you know, more niche stuff and also uh, tricky stuff that you won't tend to see in other tutorials. Um, again, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I would do more, I would do the particle effects and stuff, but I really can't. Um, my arms current conditions i hope that you've enjoyed this part of the series and as always stay tuned for the next one again if you have feedback if you have ideas if you have requests leave those in the comments and if you enjoyed the series be sure to subscribe so you can see future videos and like to help me know um, one that you're enjoying the series and two that people are still interested and want to see more of this stuff so yeah again uh, thank you for watching i appreciate that and uh, peace out.